Hello there. Don't let me down, Angel. Don't let me down, Angel. You know how I feel so far. Don't let me down. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We are wasting no more time. It's your boy, Eddie Moses. Your 22-year-old law and film show in Sydney, Australia, baby. This is Angel episode 14 and 15 in one episode. First of all, we're starting off with episode 14, I've Got You Under My Skin. Then we move on to episode 15, and then we'll go on to 16, 17 in a separate video before we go back into Buffy. Let's waste no more time. Let's get right into it. <sighs> Listen, I know you guys are saying that there's some bangers on the way for the Angel in 17, 18, episode 17, 18, or I think, or one of them, like the crossover ones. Fair enough. Like, I'm sticking it out for season one, guaranteed. I'll make my decision after season one. Because, like, I feel like if you introduce a new person or, like, a friend to a show nowadays, they'd be like, say, for instance, I want to introduce a friend to, like, Stranger Things, Game of Thrones, whatever, something like that. I cannot say to them, oh, you got to wait till season five or season four. It pops off. Wait till then. Because if they're not enjoying the first season, there's no point. They're not going to stick through it. They're not going to stick through it. They're like, the show has to hook you eventually in the first season. That's what good shows do. Like, they're going to hook you. For, I remember watching The Boys episode one for the first time. And I'm like, whoa, I'm hooked on the show. I want to keep going. I want to keep going. This show, the only reason I've stuck with it is because of you guys and how much I love you guys and I've been a, like really appreciative of how like um, you guys are fans of this and how much you appreciate Angel and the whole Buffyverse, etc. So I've stuck it out because of the crossover episodes at the beginning of Angel, but ever since it's become sort of like a Detective of the Week or Monster of the Week style, I know it's different from Buffy because like the show is still finding its feet, it's going to take time and a lot of you say season 2 is really good and then some of you are saying season 5 is amazing. Um, if a show hasn't really got me on on season one and really hooked, like I know it's in the Buffy verse, I don't have that motivation to continue on, but I'll still make my decision at the end of season one. And even so I'm down to revisit Angel in the future because a lot of you are saying season five of Buffy is absolutely mental. So I want to power through that. So even if I don't, even if I don't watch Angel season two and I power through Buffy, I don't mind revisiting Angel in the future and doing it like once a week or twice a week just slowly getting through it i don't mind that i don't mind that so let me know what you guys think about that as well i'm sorry for ranting but yeah we'll get right into the episode the pot calling the kettle stinky cordelia doyle oh that caught me off I'm guard like, um, poor doyle wesley ah oh, poor wesley he's gonna feel like the third wheel here you. You gotta see where Angel was coming from as well. Well, Doyle was helping me out so much, and Doyle was like part of the crew. It was like sort of cemented. And even though it was like uh, he got off like mid season one, Doyle is still very used to that crew, and he's still adjusting to Wesley being around. Now, obviously, Wesley is not gonna take that really well, but we'll see. <laughs> Guys are barricading their kids indoors. I wonder what they're up to, but we'll see. I'm not gonna lie, the angel theme has grown on me throughout the season as well. I kind of like it now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I miss him. Oh, we miss Doyle. Shout out, Glenn Quinn. What'd you see? I reckon eventually Cordelia might, like, just want to get rid of these powers. It's either she's going to learn to adapt to it, or it's just going to be, it is what it is, got to deal with it. Or she's going to get sick of it and wants to get rid of them. did the spider-man on that kid page it's fine god my baby it's cold let's just get him inside you saved him thank god you were here i've seen that mother actress before page i've seen her before i swear i've seen her before i don't know where but i've seen her she looked recognizable i don't know it might be someone i know or I, i've seen her before and i was yeah. jones angel jones angel honey Hey, yo, his wife is cheating on him in 4K direct... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I was like, she was giving him those eyes. I collect them. I think the angels are around us all the time, don't you? 
I I think um there this, are this woman beings. is weed. <laughs> That's a nice thought. Like someone's looking out for us. Keep up too much of Angel's time already. Can I bring something? Wow. It, I, I think Angel has like obviously sussed out there's something wrong or iffy here. So he's just like, yeah, can I bring some? I'm coming to dinner. But the wife is so like, yeah, she's so excited or enthusiastic to have Angel around. Then the home life must be stuffed up. Listen, that ain't a happy home. <laughs> Something's wrong in that house. Yep, there we go. Look <laughs> at all around the foundation of the house. So now we know someone in that house is possessed by a demon. Well done, Wesley. The rogue demon hunter doing his work. Oh, it's the daughter. Don't linger. Why is it always the kids that are possessed? Listen, the exorcist didn't do well for me, okay? I don't want to go through it again. <laughs> What's this powder? I made brownies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> More Brussels sprouts, Angel? No, thank you. I'm full. Yo, this is so awkward, fam. I think we're ready to try your brownies, Angel. Yo, the mum is like getting coffee. The mum is like this. This this home is weed, man. I buried one in my mashed potatoes too. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Angel's bunny. Yeah. Yeah, I say well. Hey yo, kids. Angel might be good Angel with kids, you know. Like he might suit you. <laughs> Charming, man. Which gives them their name. This is so awkward. Brownies. No hot chocolate for you kids tonight. This is your treat tonight. Yeah. What the fudge just happened? It was the boy? Oh, I thought it was the girl. I thought you were here to help us. You are not an angel. He is, bro. Hey, Allow it. It's okay. Seth, he did this to Ryan. We both know that that is not true. Hey, at least what was the, wrong with Ryan has been wrong for a long time. At least the dad's more understanding now. What do you need? The phone. This is basically the exorcist find our demon. It's in, the in an angel episode. What I need is in the pantry. We can contain him until we get the priest. We're coming to you. You know who would be a good priest to get? Father Doug. If you guys know who Father Doug is, OG priest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys have seen a haunted house, you know who Father Doug is, man. Father Doug would kill this. Oh, I wonder if I should put plastic down. Angel, are you expecting any big vomiting here? Because I saw the movie. <laughs> hey, it legit is a play on The Exorcist, except the just binding part, it will keep the demon make it a boy now. While Angel and I go find the priest. He doesn't need a priest. Go angry. Kill, kill, kill. Go to church already. I have a feeling the parents might do something dodgy while they're out because I think Angel should have left either Wesley or one of them there. Oh yeah, Angel in the church ain't gonna do well. <laughs> you would come into a place of worship. Oh, she sensed that? I'm not what you think. No? Oh, come on, she knows, bro. Okay. This is not a normal nun. Yeah, I am. Their daughter was possessed with a demon. Oh. A very powerful demon. And it, oh, the, the priest. Father Frederick saved the young woman, but he couldn't save himself. The priest died in battle. R.I.P. to my man. Very dangerous. Even more dangerous than you. You can't fire shots like that, man. And just walk away. Are you? Are you scared? We have the supplies. You've never done this before. Look, it takes tremendous strength, mental strength, resistance to suggestion. Yes, I understand that. Hey, right, shout out Wesley. My guy gonna prove himself. I like to think of myself as possessing a set. Wesley, you don't even have sales resistance. How many thigh masters do you own? The second one was a free gift with my bronze of steel. All right. Imagine Angel trying to hold the cross while trying to perform the exorcism. It's like, he's burning while doing it to the kid. That's why Wesley got to do it. Is it going to be OK? 
Yo, your, your son belongs in the evil dead. Just leave him. He's a write-off. Wanted to see him. There he is. And he's going to be fine. But the newly inhabited rarely survives. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. Listen, just get the demon out the kid. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. No, you no. idiot! Oh, this woman is... She had to wait, like, literally two more seconds. Like, not even, like... Not even two more seconds, like... I'm so glad you're here. You did this to yourself, Mum. You did this to yourself, Paige. Like, I don't care. Look, from now on, you do exactly as I'm telling you. Understood? You better. Unless you want to get choked again, dumbass. Been fine for a thousand years. Which ought to do it, right? Of course, for that one at least. The demon will try to make the jump to the nearest warm body. Yo, Angel better charge about like at least five Bitcoin for these services. I don't care if Bitcoin's down at the moment. The services they they are doing uh, require extreme extreme risks or like all right so they better charge this family i don't care if the family has to put a mortgage on their house and listen right you gotta charge what so you you're do. safe anyway good enough for daddy not good enough for the council damn but i hit hit uh, uh giles having daddy issues I'm at the beginning of the episode. Uh, come on <laughs> don't push don't buckle giles oh giles don't buckle wesley because i invited him here Shut up, kid. I'll show you fear. Oh. 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 <laughs> but that's the next step. He should be done. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was too close. I let my guard down. It won't happen again. Damn. No, okay, he's good. He's good. Angel. He gets another shot at it. This. So all I had was Get it ready. <laughs> Angel's like, I will whoop y'all out. I, I am not losing this. It's like stuff the ladder for the last bit. Now get the hell out. Oh, it broke the box. Where did the demon go then? destroy me you were dealing with forces beyond your comprehension yeah. uh well it's a hobby of mine <laughs> green putrescent bully pick on an innocent child <laughs> you think you're impressive i am ethros i corrupted the spirits of men before they had speech to name me what so oh wait he took the boy the boy doesn't have us is the boy a vampire she has nine more smiles, and I only have seven. Well, we'll just have to write the Nestle Bunny about that. That's what I found in the boy. No conscience, no fear, no humanity, just a black void. Wow. I couldn't control him. I couldn't get out. I never even manifested until you brought me forth. What? Uh, uh, I just sat in him and watched as he destroyed everything around him. Not from a belief in evil, not for any reason at all. So the boy's crazy. Do you remember any of it? Hey, yo, he was the mind was the blackest hell I've ever known. Oh, Marvels. my boy's got the Joker mind. It was you? I had given up. Hope. Yo, even the demons like I can't deal with this boy. It's that dark. He's like I'm gonna kill myself. I don't know. Do you believe the villain at this point? Similar to how Buffy should have like what like you believe Ethan in the other episode about three one four. Angel, he's with his family. We have to hurry. Yes, you do. <laughs> Kill him in case. Okay. My kid about to burn the house down. No, maybe just his sister. Just like the exorcist, but with a spin. Even the demon was scared of what's inside this kid. Yo. My man actually did it. Oh my gosh, this kid has got balls. I mean, he's a boy, so he has, but like... 
And Angel comes to the rescue. Bro, these guys better get the checkbook out. I'm serious. Like, these guys have to, like, pay. I'm saying, oh my gosh. They have to get a loan out. You can't lock up the kid. <laughs> Social services will take over from here. Is this the first time Angel seen Kate since the reveal as well? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, I, I remember. Yeah, thanks for coming by. She's like, wow. Okay. She kind of knows what he was dealing with as well, probably. Oh yeah, because that key caught his uncle's accident. I think as well. I know. Hey, don't get that checkbook out, boy. Yeah, I like that episode. It wasn't too bad, actually. It was basically The Exorcist with a neat little spin on it about the kid. Even the demon was scared of the kid, bro. He's like, I entered that kid. He had. I just saw emptiness. I saw nothing, like no soul at all, like a dark pit, an abyss, and I couldn't even get out. Like I trapped myself in there. I couldn't even get out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, interesting spin. Basically, the exes, can, uh, I guess, um, uh, trimmed down to a forty-five minute episode. Again, like sort of like a monster of the week or like issue of the week, detective of the week type episode. But one of the better ones, in my opinion. And I like that little sort of hint to Wesley being sort of like an outcast in the crew and then sort of sort of having that sense of belonging at the end as well where Angel needed him and he talked about him and, you know, he could do it, um, perform the exorcism, etc. Um, I thought Wesley was actually gone, but then luckily, obviously, he got didn't get hit in a vital place. Uh, Wesley hinting, uh, hinting as well, Wesley's like uh, past with his dad and probably having a poor upbringing as well. And then at the end, the tease with Kate. I like it, having seen Angel for the first time since the event with Penn. But yeah, not a bad episode. Anyway, guys, we move on to episode 15. Let's go. Find some forms of corruption are more pleasant. <laughs> I'm ashamed to call you my son. <laughs> you about I'm ashamed to call you my son. You'll never amount to anything more than that. <laughs> <laughs> nice transition to the present. With Angel basically, I'm guessing, turning from getting hit in the face. <laughs> that ain't a homeless guy. I guess I can forget about reading him his rights. <laughs> hey, Kate and Angel need to sort their crap out because I like Kate. But she's slowly becoming more aware of what's going on. If she wasn't already about the vampire stuff. I'm still having a little trouble with this other worldly stuff. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need some time to adjust to that. <laughs> Did you also happen to hear I was the lead officer on scene? You look like you're doing okay. Hey, he's just checking up in his daughter. Man. Back to it. <laughs> but it might be a sense of like, What's wait, you, you can't expect me to do my job on my own. Like, what do you think? I'm baby. You're trying to babysit me. And Kate would get pissed off at her dad. But her dad's just really looking out for her. But yeah, then as well. Uh, I don't know, daddy issues. I think he's actually checking up on me. Yeah, see? <laughs> Look, no offense, I think you're probably a pretty decent guy for, you know, what you are. <laughs> but let's keep this strictly business, all right? We don't get personal. I'm not your girlfriend. Hey, yo, no, no, Kate's gonna get personal. Watch, she's gonna catch feelings. That wouldn't really be a problem for me, actually. Shut up, Dala. I know who you are. Pay attention. All we have to do is decide what the code will be. I feel like we're getting a lot of flashbacks to Angel's past, and I feel like a lot of this show is going to be Angel's past coming back to haunt him in LA, similar to how we had the Jeremy Renner episode with Penn as well. Like, I feel like it's not the last we've seen of it. It's being taken care of. It's just that the uh, evil thing... It turns out it wasn't an evil thing. <laughs> the evil thing wasn't an evil thing. Well, it was an evil thing in terms of that word. It just wasn't an evil evil thing. <laughs> there are not evil evil things. Well, yeah. Angel's not an evil evil thing. Alright, sorry. I think you'll find most people require some period of adjustment after being 
confronted with the dark forces which surround us. That is true. Even Buffy killed. needed some adjustment when she found out she was the Slayer. Like, come on. <laughs> like, you need to adjust. Like, it's a shock. Right, next. Found it. Oh! Kate's dad! Doing dodgy stuff. What is this? He wasn't just checking up on her. <laughs> Imagine he's gonna get arrested by his own daughter in the end. What do you work for, Mr. Lock? 4K. I don't work for anybody. I'm retired. You were at the party, remember? I will find out what's going on, sir. I'm just telling you that now out of respect for Kate. Are you threatening <laughs> me, son? No. I'm trying to protect your daughter. Protect my daughter? From what? From finding out the reason that you were there today wasn't because you cared about her. We'll meet again. Defy me now, you won't. As long as I live. Yo, Angel has a sister. Imagine she comes back into play like he made her a vampire so she lives eternally. Ooh! If you go caught in trouble, you're sure to find it. So, so they're interchanging the sort of daddy issues with Kate or like the, the parental stuff with Kate and her dad with Angel and his dad in the past. And this is where Dala got Angel. <laughs> If you never turn it on, I can turn <laughs> anyone or anything. Did my girl join Ocean's Eleven or something here? Like freaking Charlie's <laughs> Angels? <laughs> Mr. I can't scale the suspect during the day because I'll burst into flames, private eye, parking, or the complete lack of it. Not like in the movies, is it? No, but fortunately, <laughs> I am. Cordelia looking like Sia. <laughs> so it turns out, delivery guy really is a delivery guy. No, this looks like the package I saw him pick up from Kate's father. But this is where he spent his lunch, and he was in there for like ever. This guy looks like he works at Wolfram and Hart. Sound advice, Mr. Lockley. Thank you very much. Any instructions on how we should deal with this angel person, sir? Oh, oh, well, okay, relax, relax, relax. chill, 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 bro. Comfortable with our arrangement as it is. The sudden death of this private investigator could turn him. Kill Lockley too. God, do I have to think of everything around here? Someone give me an adrenal plan. This guy needs to chill out. Chill the F out. Imagine thinking your son was dead. Just to know he's a va uh, find out he's a vampire. That would be crazy. He rocks up, makes his whole family vampires. <laughs> hence the most or one of the most vicious vampires was ever born. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, Kate is so attractive, man. I'm a sucker for blondes, right? But damn, her eyes are like, wow, wow. I, 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 yeah, I, I don't mean it to come out the wrong way, but she, yeah, she's beautiful. Like, I can't say much like besides that. There's something more going on here than there probably is. Yeah, shout out Kate. And I'd like to be involved. Shout out Kate what? again. With the case, you find something, you bring me in, okay? A demon cannot enter a home where he's not welcome. But he must be invited. It's your That's son. true. <laughs> but I was invited. Wait, by who? Oh, I knew he killed the sister. I said he was gonna say, do it. He was gonna do it. She thought I returned to her. An angel. <laughs> That's how he got the name. Strange. Yep. Taking out his old family. He got the mum left. I wonder if his sister became a vampire. Oh wait. Okay. Invite me in. Do it now. Son, you really need to go. <laughs> Invite me in. Oh, like they're vampires! Shady ass fools. You can't invite him in now. Looks like you're not welcome here, bro. He dies. The very instant his soul leaves his body, I'm through this door and I'll kill you both. Oh, how's he gonna explain this to Katie? Yep, he's dead. So, he was able to enter the door.
she arrived freaking at the worst time. Alright, all right, this, this, this is getting heated now. This is getting heated! Involved in something, Kate. In something he couldn't have understood. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Please, get out! You know what? It, Please, get out. It could have gone worse. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Listen, listen, listen. Like, in terms of Kate's reaction, it could have gone... She started to get out, like... She didn't put the blame on him, or it, like, you couldn't, like, I, like, she could have handed it more down than Angel. I don't know if that's me being like, are you serious, Ellie? Like, you, you didn't think she gave it to him? Like, I don't know, but, like, but I was okay. Like, it was bad, but it was, it's alright. Welcome to the demon world, Kate. Again. Oh, she got there before, Angel. <laughs> I know it will kill you, but this will. Hey, shout out Kate, that was smooth. Divert with the bullets, steak. What do, you have what do you think you know? You know it walks the city. Yeah, uh, big ugly drug running demon who thinks he's a lot scarier than he really is, maybe. <laughs> yeah, she knows. Let's go. The teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, we might see some vampire decapitations here because you can kill him like that too. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. I'm already dead. Decapitation. Welcome to the club. <laughs> so that guy was a demon. It wasn't a vampire. He didn't look like a vampire, but um, we saw a decapitation. I predicted it. You okay? He saved your life, Kate. Allow it. You don't know anything about that. Actually, Angel's father was human too. He does. If only he could tell her. Like, he should explain it to her. That'd be a great conversation. Like, yo. Because we've been... He's been reminiscing on it on all episodes. This contest has ended, isn't it? Yes. But his defeat of you will last lifetimes. What are you talking about? Damn. You can't defeat me now. Nor can he ever approve of you, in this world, or any other. <laughs> beloved father, when Angel was buried, beloved son as well. Like, the parallels in this episode, and like, the constant shifting juxtaposition between, like, um, Angel's fatherly life, and then... Kate's fatherly life and like Kate saying at the end, oh, you're not like, you're not a human. You would never, my father was human. You would never know. But like, hey, 200 years ago, Angel was a human, had a father, had his own family troubles and took his whole family's life. So he needs to tell Kate about that. Oh, I think they're down the line, maybe he'll explain it or we'll see. But I thought the Kate relationship was sort of getting fixed a little bit and she came to Angel for help. And then, yeah, obviously when her father died, she's obviously going to need time to process it. But definitely one of the better episodes of season one. Um, Kate lost her father, like high stakes episode right there. Even though like sort of the drug lord demon wasn't like as sort of threatening as he was. Like Angel dealt with him pretty easily. But yeah, Kate's father was involved with the wrong people. Um, but I don't think that was the purpose of this episode. It wasn't to have this like monster drug lord demon be like the threatening as he was. It was a simple castaway villain. I think the main purpose was to focus on Angel's past with his parents. Um, his family, and then he took his whole family's life once he became a vampire due, uh, due, due to the Drusilla. And it's like that, I guess, connection with Kate and Kate trying to. I don't know. It's like, how do I explain it? I'm trying to explain it, but like, yeah, the whole episode, that, that wasn't the point, having that demon. That, was, that wasn't the point. The point was to show Kate's father, obviously, trying to protect her by doing the shady stuff or trying to provide a future for his daughter. I, I don't know. He was doing the stuff and he didn't even know what was being sold with those auto parts. He was just working for a drug lord crime demon. And then, yeah, Kate found out that her father was just human like the rest of us. And then the whole point of the episode, the flashbacks, was to show that, yeah, Angel was human just like the rest of us as well. And then look how that turned out. <laughs> but yeah, that was probably one of the better episodes of season one. 
um, a decent back-to-back -back showing as well. Even though we got two more to go, that was a decent back-to-back -back showing. I enjoyed it. Um, much, much better than the last two episodes we had previously before this. Or like, sorry, like the batch we had in the last video. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my Angels reactions to episode 14 and 15. As always, guys, been your boy, Lee Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.